When I was seven, I took a trip up to my grandparents' cottage. It was one of those beautiful autumn days where the trees are changing color and there's a cool breeze in the air. It was perfect, and I loved it so much that I decided to write a small poem about it, of which my grandmother recently found while she was digging through a lot of her old stuff up north. Leaves are falling, winter's calling. It's almost here, but autumn's stalling. <laughs> I was quite the poet, even though I apparently didn't understand punctuation or how to spell autumn. I was also that kid who would take the provided stationery in hotel rooms and write little stories about my day while I was on vacation. That's how much I loved to write when I was little. And then I got to high school and I stopped writing. I mean, I used to be fascinated with words, but high school pretty efficiently killed my creativity. You know, there are a lot of pros to our school system, but sometimes it feels like it's designed to just churn out these perfect office-type robots who can follow orders and efficiently perform tasks. And yet, at the same time, you have teachers telling you to be yourself with posters like these all over their walls. They tell you to be an individual, and honestly, I don't think it's the teacher's fault. I think it's the standardized tests. I think it's the quizzes and the assessments every week, and I think it's the stress, and I think it's the deadlines. And yeah, I guess that's real life, but why is that all real life has to be? Why, when exam time comes around, do I have my friends asking me to push them down the stairs so they can break their arm and not have to write their test? Why is that, I mean, they say it jokingly, but like, why is that so funny to them? Why is that a joke that they think appropriate to say? Because we're so stressed as students. And it's so funny to so many of us because we all feel the same. Back in February, when I was choosing my grade 12 courses, I asked my mom, hey mom, can I take drama? And she said, sure, as long as it doesn't impede on your important courses. She literally raised a theater kid. Since when is drama not important? But it wasn't, at least not to her. But do you know what is important to her? The arts. The arts are important to all of us. Don't believe me? How many minutes has it been since you last listened to a song? Minutes, not hours, not days, minutes. Who do you think wrote that song? Sang it, produced it, artists. How long has it been since you last watched a movie, a TV show? Who do you think wrote that? directed it, produced it, designed the costumes for it. Artists. When was the last time any of you played a video game? Who do you think designed that video game? Who do you think wrote the storyline, devised the side quests? Artists. How many of you put makeup on this morning? Any of you watch MUAs on YouTube? I don't know about you, but I think that's some serious talent. They're artists. They're all artists, and we need them. We, as a collective human race, need artists. They distract us from everything that stresses us. They enhance our experiences. They're the avenues that create, that allow us to create new experiences. We need artists. Why do we need the arts though? Because every single person in this room has had that day that they've been so stressed that they just had to put their head down and go. They just had to block everything else out and accomplish today's tasks. But do you know what happens when you put your head down and you just go? You forget to look up. You forget to enjoy life, to smell the roses. Why do we need the arts? Because we as a human race want to do more than just survive. Why do we need the arts? Because we want to do more than just survive. We want to live. Thank you. <laughs>